Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you some different techniques to make vowel type of weight tables. What I like to do is um, use serum for this technique. What you can do is you grab the initialized patch like this, just an ordinary saw, turn down the random phase and set it to start at zero degrees. Then you grab something like a low pass filter Turn up the resonance, very high, and then you grab a LFO, make it a ramp up shape, turn it to one bar long, and just make a low pass sweep like this. Then you go into the menu resample that to oscillator A. And I wanted to start on this frame. So I'm just gonna go choose the first one and then remove um, current index. If you wanted to start the other way around, you could go into process, no, sorry, um, sort, reverse entire table order. So now it's going to start like this. So it's more of a closing one. Um, well, let's go back to this. And then I like to grab the quantize. Already here, you can hear these vowely, like, ah, oh, type of sound. So then you just grab the LFO again. And you do a resample. This time I'm going to take it to oscillator B in case I want to go back to this one and tweak it. And if you're happy with it, you can just export it as a 16 bit WAV file and you can use it in any way table synth that you like that accepts WAV files and 2048 samples per frame. The next method is. Also, a more traditional way of doing it is, for example, using Serum again, we can go into the MISC filters and we can choose a formant filter. And then we can just do something like this. Resample that to oscillator A. Turn off the filter. And now I forgot to turn down that one. So let's do it again. You can initialize it. Format one, cut off all the way down, ramp up shape, one bar long, because that's going to be one cycle. And then resample that to oscillator A. Turn off the filter. That's a second method. And oops, the third one, we're going to use Serum again. But let's grab something like, I don't know, Rift filter. So you use an external filter of your choice. And you can go for like, I don't know, mid vowel. Make it mono. So I'm going to group this. And I'm going to map some the morph 
the cutoff, maybe the resonance as well. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to draw a note. I'm going to go for F, but F0, I think, will be fine for this. That's too low. Up one. There we go. Go into the arrangement view. And let's just place a note here. Let's go for, I like having two bars. Control Shift M. F0. Legato. Cool. And then you just draw an automation on the cutoff, maybe. Start at Let's delete the car. Can try something like that. And then you just record it to an empty audio channel. This might be a little bit too low, but if you right click on Windows and then crop the clip, you go back into Vital, the trusty old Vital, and then use Pitch Splice. You got your wavetable. Over here. But notice how it shifts over time. So it's going to play, play that. That's due to the phase shift happening when you're using something like a filter. So what I like to do is I add a modifier called phase shifting within the wavetable editor. And then I shift it from the beginning. And then place another one keyframe over here. And you just adjust it right in the beginning. So when you sweep through it, it stays, the phase stays at the same, uh, same position all the time. So. And then you can take this further within Vital. So you can make like these expressive um, stuff by automating the inharmonic or something, the oscillator warp, um, which is pretty cool, I suppose. Um, you can also do the quantize thing, which you made with, uh, which we made with the uh, serum. So yeah, that's how you create some way tables um, with a vowel texture to it um, using Serum and Vital. Um, what's pretty interesting is that you can, if you have like a lot of external filters or other synth, maybe some hardware synth, you can record a filter sweep using that and then import it as a wavetable to give the, like these different type of timbres to it. So in characteristics. So yeah, um, thanks for tuning in and uh, see you in the next one.